Oil is super volatile. Look at Enza D. It was hovering near a key level last night, so I recommended opening a position with it. See, I didn't recommend the Canadian dollar, but I did pick EU Arsha CAD. Let's dive into the Forex market. We had the Euro. Euro actually did super well. All those old levels I set back in 2015 when we launched Gerchik and Co, they're still holding up strong. They are working out really well. I'm on vacation with Euro Trades for now. Yeah. Today, I recommended NZD. Just so you know, today's list of recommendations I gave, let's see how they performed. There were days this week when my picks hit 100%. I didn't touch JPY today, but I've got other JPY pairs lined up, so I'm sure that JPY will give a good earning opportunity. After a big drop, there's usually a decent retracement. I skipped AUD today. Let me break it down. I pick assets based on two main things. First, when they show a clear picture. Second, when they're trading near a key level. For example, NZD was close to a strong level last night. So, I recommended going for it, but AUD wasn't near a strong level. This is why I held back with AUD. Okay, next up. I didn't recommend uh, the Swiss franc today, but we'll have one pair with it soon, so stay tuned. I also skipped uh, GBP. There wasn't a clear setup. Remember, when picking assets, you need a clear situation that makes sense to you. There should be an entry point and low volatility. Trading during high volatility can lead to problems. So I focus on recommendations for those assets that are close to key levels with a clear picture or pattern. Though I'm not too big on the term pattern, I don't like the word pattern, as I said. So there may not be solid recommendations on all graphic models of the technical analysis. I especially don't like it when the asset is trading far from the level. For instance, I didn't recommend the Canadian dollar today, but I did include ear.kedi. You'll see that pair later. All right, moving on. Oil is highly volatile right now. I didn't recommend messing with this. Oil trades worked nicely a couple of times. Oil is super volatile right now, especially against the backdrop of the Middle East conflict. So I've avoided recommending it or only do so rarely. You might have seen ETH BTC if you're in our pro channel. I recommended Bitcoin from the top and it worked great. By the way, I also suggested GFT coin the day before yesterday. It surged 50% in two days, 50% on the market. There are always situations on the market that offer opportunities for significant gains. I also recommended silver today, but it didn't trigger the sell order, so it's a zero recommendation. As for gold, it moved a bit in our favor. Let's keep going. I'm skipping S&P due to its high volatility. The EUR CAD was spot on, a great short setup at 150.50. You can see a gorgeous reversal model over here, it moved beautifully, moving on. I didn't include GBP NZD because of its high volatility, but check out the levels I've been using. They've been working well, see? I didn't have GBP NZD. I had GBP NZD at 184.12, which worked super well too. There was an entry here. It worked perfectly. It looks pretty neat now. Let's record it. Okay, moving right along. What's with your AAUD? The short trade at 167.40 was fantastic, almost hitting 150 points. For those in the Telegram channel, you can confirm how well it did. Your AUD worked beautifully. I didn't touch your CHF or GBP AUD. I did include NZD, CHF, CAD, JPY, and your JPY in my recommendations. They all did well, excellent overall, out of nine recommendations today. Two didn't provide entry points. I have a solid approach with prop companies and will skip crypto for now. SPY is rebounding. Do you see it? This means that the market isn't ready to decline. Many assets do not wish to move along with the market. Here's Intel. But I think Intel might drop further. In other words, there is no reversal there so far. If you check the overall market situation, some stocks made a decent reversal against the previous strong movement. The market uh, is not yet ready for a further drop. There is nothing particularly strong like that there. For example, Meta has returned to the point from where there was a decline in just three days. Meta and Netflix are showing similar tendencies. For instance, my DJT. My options are set to expire on August 16th, 
and I'm almost 80% up on them.